Okay, on my Moog editor, you can see that I'm using 1.11 editor edition. The firmware is 1.2.0. That's up to date firmware. I am using Logic Pro. You can see that about Logic Pro, you can see that I'm version 10.8.1. This Mac is a 14H 2021 M1, 64 gigabytes of memory, Ventura 13.5.2. Okay, so what I've got here, when I want to sync the Moog with Logic, I go to the sync settings, I choose the Moog, as my destination and the only thing I do is just click the clock box right there that's the only thing that I do and the default setting is this song dash SPP at play start and stop SPP continue cycle jump now this is what happens if I keep that setting so here I'll play I've got the move on sync by the way, so you have to play the loop. Sorry, hold on. Let me take it off the latch. There we go. All right, so I'll play this and then I'll begin to play it. See how it skips like that? So I'll stop it again. I'll start it again. Now watch it. See how it turns around? And whenever I return I'll do it I'll demonstrate that one more time I'll play a four bar I'm sorry hold on I'll, I'll play a four note arpeggio so that you can hear what I'm doing here we go you see how that works see how that does that so the way that I have learned to cure it is to go in to um, project settings, go back to synchronization, and then in, in the MIDI, instead of this uh, song SPP, what I do is click the pattern quantize clock start based on pattern length. And then I'll go back and I will play Logic. I'll pick my four bar or four note arpeggio. Here we go. See how it stays the same? Now it remains the same. So I don't know why that is. I, I would greatly appreciate if someone could explain to me why that setting is what is needed for this, this pattern quantized clock start based on pattern length. Um, everything that I've heard tells me to, uh, says to pick this one, um, but apparently that's not true. Apparently this is the way that you cure that. So... Clock mode, pattern, quantize clock, start based on pattern length. 